Welcome back to another day at Topcast. Today we will explore Israel-Palestine conflict history and current situation. The Israel-Palestine conflict is a protracted and deeply rooted geopolitical dispute that has spanned over a century. It began with the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, the Balfour Declaration, and the subsequent British Mandate in Palestine. Tensions between Jewish and Arab communities escalated, leading to the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, resulting in the creation of Israel and the displacement of Palestinian Arabs in the Nakba. Subsequent conflicts, including the Six-Day War, Yom Kippur War, and multiple intifadas, have perpetuated violence and territorial disputes. The conflict's core issues, such as the status of Jerusalem, borders, refugees and the establishment of a Palestinian state, remain unresolved. Despite various peace initiatives and negotiations, a final resolution remains elusive, making the Israel-Palestine conflict a persistent source of regional and international concern. In early October 2023, war broke out amid an Israeli aid blockade and the conflict risks spreading as cross-border strikes escalate in Lebanon and Syria. Following the outbreak of war between Israel and Hamas on October 7, 2023, President Joe Biden made a strong statement of support for Israel. On the same day that Israel declared war against the terrorist group, the United States announced that it would send renewed shipments of arms and move its Mediterranean Sea warships closer to Israel. While the UN Security Council called an emergency meeting to discuss the renewed violence, the members failed to come to a consensus statement. Given the history of brutality when Israel and Palestinian extremist groups have fought in the past, international groups quickly expressed concern for the safety of civilians in Israel and the Palestinian territories, as well as those being held hostage by militants in Gaza. In the first two days of fighting, approximately 800 Israelis and 500 Palestinians were killed. Increasing loss of life is of primary concern in the conflict. While the United States did not immediately confirm reports that Iranian intelligence and security forces directly helped Hamas plan its October 7th attack, Iran has a well-established patronage relationship with Hamas and other extremist groups across the Middle East. In addition to worries that the attacks were a signal from Iran that it is prepared to escalate its malign influence in various Middle Eastern conflicts, Experts have expressed concern that another extremist group with Iranian backing, Hezbollah, will be drawn into the war, thereby expanding the conflict beyond Israeli and Palestinian borders. On October 9th, reports surfaced that the IDF was firing at targets within Lebanon, where Hezbollah is based. An Israeli statement on the matter did not clarify the purpose of the cross-boundary operation. A 2023 effort by the United States to help broker a normalization accord between Israel and Saudi Arabia was thrown into chaos by the October conflict. Saudi Arabia has long advocated for the rights and safety of Palestinian Arab populations in Israel, the West Bank and Gaza. Especially in Gaza, those populations are now in the path of IDF operations, jeopardizing the progress the Israelis and Saudis made toward common understanding. Recent developments The most far-right and religious government in Israel's history was inaugurated in late December 2022. The coalition government is led by Benjamin Bibi Netanyahu and his Likud party, and comprises two ultra-Orthodox parties and three far-right parties, including the Religious Zionism Party, an ultra-nationalist faction affiliated with the West Bank settler movement. To reach a governing majority, Netanyahu made a variety of concessions to his far-right partners. Opponents have criticized the government's stated prioritization of the expansion and development of Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank. The governing coalition has also endorsed discrimination against LGBTQ plus people on religious grounds, and it voted to limit judicial oversight of the government in May 2023 after a delay due to nationwide protests in March. 2022 marked a renewed level of violence between Israelis and Palestinians. The first nine months of 2023 were characterized by a steady trend of clashes in the West Bank, including nearly daily Israeli incursions. Israel approved 5,000 new settler homes in June 2023 
which, along with other settlements in Palestinian territory, are considered by experts and intergovernmental institutions to be illegal under international law. The Israeli military also escalated its operations, including raiding the Al-Aqsa Mosque twice in one day, wounding 35 in a Ramallah operation, and firing missiles from a helicopter at the Jenin refugee camp. In May, Israel battled Gazan militants for five days, with nearly 2,000 combined missile launches by Hamas and Israeli forces. Then, in July, Israel deployed nearly 2,000 troops and conducted drone strikes in a large-scale raid on the Jenin refugee camp in the West Bank, killing 12 Palestinians and wounding 50. Israel, which lost one soldier in the operation, claimed all those killed were militants. While withdrawing, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the incursion was not a one-off incident. Israel intends to prevent the camp from serving as a safe haven for Jenin brigades and other militant groups. Hamas responded to the raid by carrying out an attack in Tel Aviv and launching missiles at Israel. The October 2023 conflict between Israel and Hamas marks the most significant escalation of the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict in several decades. So thank you for joining with us. Have a great day.